guys, I got some news about the gay Tupac. You guys <laughs> might want to pay attention to the Hey, this is big, bro. Put your phone The down. gay Tupac <laughs> has some news, all right? Fuck this nigga, man. Show some respect. He is not suicidal. We if he know. was guilty, he would have said it. He could have said he was guilty a long time ago. That nigga's retarded. <laughs> That's a bro. That clip is great. All right, Juicy Small or sorry, Juicy Smollier has been released <laughs> from jail pending an appeal of his conviction. Mm, he was released Wednesday night after an Illinois appeals court granted an emergency motion by his defense attorneys. Smollett's legal team is looking to delay his sentence and grant him bond until their appeal on his conviction is decided on. The former Empire actor was sentenced last week to 30 months of felony probation, including 150 days in jail, and ordered to pay restitution of more than $120,000 and a $25,000 fine uh, for making false reports to police that he was the victim of a hate crime in January 19th. Sorry, January 2019. Quote uh, from his defense attorney, There is no room for politics in our court system. Uh, he said in a news conference shortly after the actor's release, Regardless of what you think about this case, the real question is, should, should black men be walked into jail for, class four fe- for a class 4 felony? Hmm. Uh, well, as other attorneys from the team who spoke Wednesday criticized the judge who sentenced Smollett last week, Cook County Judge James Lynn spoke to the actor for more than a half an hour criticizing his actions. The judge spent a great deal of time chastising, berating my client, uh, Uch- Uchi said. I've never seen that before. That's cap. A lot of judges be doing that shit. Hmm. They they'll sit there and say like, "Well, for what you've done, didn't you see a the guy the guy who molested all of the uh, a bunch of gymnasts, bro? The judge laid into him for like thirty minutes like and had team or what was it? Um, the one pin or no? No, nah, it was the one that was Snow a lot of Olympians. Someone yeah, bounced yeah, exactly. Yeah. The bro, the judge was laying into him, Nassib, was ripping Nassib. him, bro. Oh, yeah. Larry was it? Nassim, Nassim, Nassim. Yeah. yeah. She was laying into him for a minute. Mm. She had all the victims, mothers, parents, anyone who wanted to come up, speak, and talk to him directly. Then she went back in on him. Judges do that shit all the time, yeah, bro. They, they capping do. for the media. Anyways, over the past six days in jail, Somalit did not eat anything besides ice water, Uch said. Why do we care about that? That's a lie. <laughs> You're in jail. Yeah, jail is not the greatest. You probably didn't have the best headspace the first six days. A lot of people are in jail for offenses that are actually bullshit, like marijuana and shit like that. Mm. But anyways... The appeals court order entered on Wednesday says Smollett shall be released from custody upon posting of a personal recognizance bond uh, in the amount of 150000 So if you have money, you can go home. Got it, got it. Yeah. Must be nice if you don't. A personal recogni- uh, rec- recognizance bond in Illinois means that a person is released on the condition that they will attend all required future court proceedings, usually without having to pay any money. Smollett's defense filed the emergency motion last week arguing he would be irreparably harmed if he serves a sentence for convictions that may be reversed, adding that he will likely serve his jail time before the completion of his appeal. Mm-hmm. The attorneys added the exposure of COVID-19 is a serious risk because Smollett is <laughs> no. I- immunocompromised. Um, okay, one more. The court grant th- granted the ju- attorney's motion reasoning that it would be unable to dispose of the instant appeal before the defendant would have served his entire sentence of incarceration. Um, in response filed Wednesday, prosecutors vehemently disagreed with the defense's reasoning, arguing there is no emergency that warrants extra- extraordinary relief of delaying Smollett's sentence uh, while his appeal is appending. Mr. Smollett asserts that he is entitled a stay because he will most likely serve his short 150-day sentence before his appeal on merits is decided. Uh, <coughs> according to logic, every defendant sentenced to a term of imprisonment less than a few years would automatically receive a stay pending appeal. All right, so to under, get an understanding of this, basically what they're saying is, when you so let's sorry, let's say I get convicted, I file an appeal. Say my appeal won't come for another two years; it right. takes a while. What their logic is, well, by the time his appeal comes, he will have already stayed his whole sentence. That 150 oh, days will have okay, passed, okay. so he should get to get out until his appeal is there, and that's why the the prosecution said. That's like saying anyone that has a sentence under three years, I think they said three years, well, I don't know, the, the tape is there, so they will have already heard. But anyone who has under, I think, like three years, that time they should be able to just get out. They should yeah. be able to have an appeal pending, whatever this shit is. But that, again, that would only happen if you had 150000 to put up for it. Right. What do y'all think? Well, I think it's fucking crazy how there's so many people trying to defend them right now. Yeah. Like, e- even, even Trevor Noah said something about it, like... The shit that he made, 
He was like, what Jesse Smollett did was dumb as hell, but it's crazy that he's going to spend more time in jail than the family who are mostly to blame for America's opioid epidemic. Shut the fuck yeah, but you up, yo. Doing other shit like that. Nah, like, that was that mad anything, random. Though. Yeah, we can that do that was so, anything. If, man, if this dumbass had said something like, if he had said, what a c***. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. That's going to get a second. Hey, I'm going to bleep that. That's going to get a second off YouTube. But, bro, it, it, like, if you had compared it to something like uh, a guy got charged with something and he only got 30 days or a specific case where someone, uh, you know, sexual harassment or something or like, you know, rape, and it was, you didn't get any type of penalty yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Cool. Shut the fuck up about opioids. First of all, then again, only the whites are concerned with the opioid crisis. Dave Chappelle already made the joke when it was the blacks. They said, just say no. Oh, yeah. Now it's this big opioid mm -hmm. crisis. Always caping for the whites. Mm. Always concerned with what goes on <laughs> with white people. Yeah. The opioid crisis is around the white people. Yeah. Man. It's impacting a lot of white people. But I, I mean, I'm, I'm just kind of tired of, of fucking Jesse Smollett. Like, Juicy. Yeah, juicy. I mean, just that whole, like, fake hate crime <laughs> shit and then, like, trying to involve it with, like, Trump voters and shit, like, it's just just not genuine. I think that's the biggest point for me where it's like, that's just kind of fucked up. Like, he did it for attention to keep his contract with a TV show, you know? Like, maybe, like it was... And maybe 90 days would have been more reasonable. I, yeah, I could see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could. I, I could want him to go to jail for that dumbass shit. Let him huh? think about. So he should go to jail for that dumbass shit. No, no, for sure. But I'm saying like maybe like a 90 day hold or something. Because mm -hmm. then again, if you think about 150 days, which is and I swear when it first happened, you're like his ass should get more. Yeah. But I'm like, bro, <laughs> Loki, a week in jail is ass. I mean, like any any amount of time locked up, just being confined is fucking horrible. Wouldn't wish it on anyone. But for this type of shit, at least like even 90 days would have been straight. It would have even that thinking about it though would have felt like a lot, but. Maybe 150 days is a lot. Low key, it is like half a year. Get more. <laughs> he less. deserves more for that dumb. I mean, just for the stupidity of it. Like, and then you're wasting. And like, he's still not. A, but he he can't admit to none of it too. That's part of it that makes me not feel bad for yeah, him. Yeah, he's putting his yeah, fist yeah. up. Still making it a black issue too. So now people were looking at it like, oh, is this still a black issue? And then you got the fucking Black Lives Matter. You're that, okay, that shit was crazy. Okay, I've been saying for the whole time. I think that whole organization is just. They just there for the money. You know? yeah, <laughs> black Lives Matter could not have made themselves look like more of idiots when they come out. And say publicly, uh, well, we're going to back ju uh, Juicy because we, we can't trust anything that the Chicago Police Department says. We don't trust cops. Mm -hmm. And all. Do you trust body camera footage? Like, Do you yeah. trust the facts that he gave? Exactly. How about you be objective and stop making us look like idiots? And I only say us because they think that they speak for all black people. But other people think that too. They so you got all the, the white people. It's the other people that think that black lives matter. It's, is it's speaking for all blacks. Exactly. And it's not. It's but, exactly. but if they were cognizant they wouldn't put out things that does make all black people look bad. Exactly. But they do. They exactly. do. But they're a political organization and they're fucking Marxist, which they said from day one. I still don't entirely know what Marxist means. That's So you had uh, Karl Marx, who was a communist. And so